Not every membership site has members-only events, but for the ones that need events, it's very important that only members can view event details, register or purchase tickets to events, access other information about the upcoming calendar. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through using Events Manager, which is a free plugin for WordPress, in combination with Paid Memberships Pro to lock down events for members only. I'm here in my demo site and I've already configured events in the site. If I go to slash events, you'll see archive of all the events in the site. This is default events manager behavior with uh, the member light theme. Uh, Pay Memberships Pro is installed and configured. Um, the only thing I've done is gone through and create these events. I'll go through and create one more just so you get the experience of using Events Manager. It's my favorite events plugin. I think that the free version, the open source version in WordPress.org has the most features. I'm going to do another tutorial for a plugin called uh, the Events Calendar, which is also very popular. I just don't think it has as many native features built in. Uh, to the open source version. So this is uh, that events calendar. You can click through now. These events are not protected yet and view um, information about the event uh, right there on the site. So let's look at the admin here. If I go into my WordPress admin, it adds a new section called events. I can view a list of all the events in my site and I can add a new event. Uh, we'll call this, you know, events for members live stream. Just like any other post or page in your site, you can add content to the event itself. Uh, you can define a location, enable registration things, um, and then also just set up when the event is taking place um, for the site. So the date, the time, uh, time zone, and all of that stuff. So that's where you publish it. So I'm going to install the events for members only add-on for Paid Memberships Pro. I'll navigate to Memberships Add-ons. This is a free add-on. It's available in WordPress.org or it's really easy to install right from your uh, WordPress site admin. So I go to memberships add-ons and I see the events add-on here. I'm just gonna click install. Perfect, and now I wanna activate this add-on. So let me go to refresh this and I'll click activate. So our events for members add-on has built-in uh, integration for a few events plugins for WordPress. This one, the events manager um, that I have installed here, there's no settings for the events plugin. It automatically detects which events plugin you're using that it has compatibility for, and then it'll enable the features of the plugin. So just like posts and pages, uh, this plugin lets you restrict access to events by membership level on the single event editor. It inherits uh, the advanced settings in your site, whether events are hidden or shown in the calendar uh, based on membership and also if an excerpt of the event is visible to non-members or not. So let's add an event, and then we will see those settings. So I'm just gonna edit this Puppy Training 101. Um, you'll now see this, here, let's close this. Uh, you'll now see this Require Membership box. You're probably familiar with this. It's on your posts and pages. So here I can select any specific membership levels that I wanna restrict for this event and click Update. So let's go to the front end of the site and see what changes. You can see now it just shows an extra of the event. Like I said, we can play with those advanced settings. So if you want no event information visible, and then it shows the sign up link for someone to go purchase a membership level and then get access to that event. So let's go through checkout and come back to the event and see what becomes visible here. Uh, it is a staging site, so it's just a pretend checkout. Uh, so I'm not gonna have to enter any uh, checkout information here but I'll go there. And now when I go back to that events page, you'll see that my access is unlocked and that I can view full event details, add this event to my calendar. Um, this discussion area is just because uh, the theme itself has comments on pages enabled, but that wouldn't necessarily be in your site depending on what uh, functionality you have. So it's really a simple setup to use these two in tandem. Um, if we go to memberships, settings, advanced, we can check our advanced settings to hide or show excerpts. We change this to no and save settings. Now, when we go back to that single event page as a non-member, if we aren't, you know, we have a membership level now. So let's log out and then we'll see that actual functionality on the site. So now you see when you go to a single event, uh, it does not even show an excerpt of information. Some people even don't want them to show up in that archive view. You could do that by using the search filter, search archives filter on advanced settings, but I think it's nice to show a populated calendar where some things kind of hit a wall. I actually love when the excerpts are on because I think that's your opportunity to tease the event and tease the benefits of the event. 
uh, to people who don't have membership. It just helps them understand a little bit more what are all the value of the membership to joining and attending these events? What are they going to be about? So um, I'd also recommend having some events that are public and free. It's a great way to introduce people to your voice, to your brand, to your style, even as introductory lessons, or they can claim one introductory lesson, just some tips to help you incorporate members only events and prove the value of them to your audience before they convert. That's the members only events module for events manager. We'll put a link in the description for where to download that WordPress plugin and our documentation about using events for members only in combination with events manager. Give this video a like if it was helpful to you and subscribe to our channel to be notified when more content like this publishes. Have a great day.